Okay guys, in this video, uh, it's going to be an instructional video. There's been a lot of questions about uh, how the clip-ons work, whether it's a thermal or night vision, and what I'm actually seeing compared to what you're seeing in the video. So I'm going to try to explain this for you. Uh, what I have here is my LWRC 6.8 Razorback, and it is topped with the Vortex Razor HD2. It's a 1x6 scope. It has the optional red dot where you control from this dial over here we can have no red dot and then from one to power so you can see it very low light or on the brightest sunny days here in texas and right now as you see it configured this is this is for daytime use out coyote hunting whatever i'm going to be doing um, but the beauty of a thermal clip-on which this is the armor sight apollo 640 it's got the 42 millimeter lens and this is a thermal clip-on. It is a 1x magnification. Of course, it has the, the digital 2x that you can use. Um, and it has the reticle where it can be a standalone scope if you, if you choose to do it that way. But the, the main idea of this scope is to be able to take it and clip it on to the front of my rifle here, instantly turning my vortex day scope and my 6.8 rifle into a thermal night scope. Now what's going on is I'm looking through the day scope just as I would always look through it in the daytime and here's my magnification ring so I can go from 1 to 6 power and what I'm doing is I'm zooming in on the back of the screen on the scope. So at one power, it's actually so wide that I can see the, the entire screen and there's a black area around it. At three power is about optimal, I think, and that's that's where I like to shoot. That's three three power to four power is where I really like because I try to get up at close at nighttime and uh, I like, you know, when they start moving, I want to be able to have a nice field of view. But I do have the option to go to 6x if I need to. But anyway, all you're doing is zooming in on the back of the scope. When you're at 6x, you're zoomed in on the very center of the scope, so you will lose resolution, but it is still usable. I, I made a shot on a hog, it was about 340 yards uh, last month, and I was at 6x, and I could still make out the hog. I knew it was a hog. There was no problem identifying it. So it does work. It just doesn't have as, at 3x, you're gonna get the full resolution. At, at 6x, you're gonna, you're losing some resolution. But um, we'll go over here to, uh, to a clip here I prepared for you and it's going to show you exactly what I see. It'll show you the crosshairs in the vortex scope and I'll go through and show you the red dot options and then I'll go through the magnification so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, that's one X, one point five, two. Three, four, five, six. So this is what I'm seeing when I'm shooting. Now we're back to five, four, three. The three is normally where I keep it. And we're looking to the Vortex Razor HD2. There's also the option to turn on a, a red dot. There we're in one. Every other click, your red dot's going to go off. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, and then we're back down to 1, the dimmest. But anyway, that's what you what you're not seeing on the video. You're always seeing it at 1x. When I'm shooting, I can be anywhere from 1x to 6x. And I'm not able to capture that because we're actually recording through the thermal, not through the day scope. So you don't see the crosshairs that I see. In fact, I turn on the crosshairs in the thermal to line up with the crosshairs in the day scope just to show you give you a point of reference of what I'm aiming at on the video so I hope this makes it uh, a little bit easier for you guys alright guys I, I hope you enjoyed the video like I said um, always always comment at the bottom if you have a question or, or what you like what you don't like or anything like that I actually got this and the idea to do this from a comment that somebody made you know I'm, I'm used to using this stuff and sometimes I forget that not everybody you know knows exactly how everything worked at one time you know I didn't know what a clip on did and you know I had to learn too it's just been a little while back so so it's good to ask these questions um, please uh, like the video and uh, here in a second click here to subscribe to our channel thank you